Yo guys, what is up? Today we have another battery for a golf cart. You can also use this on RVs and other applications, but it is mainly for golf carts. I did purchase a Yamaha G22 2003 model with bad batteries just to add this particular battery. Uh, this one is a 48 volt, 60 amp hours, made by EnjoyBot. It comes with uh, Life PO4, which is a little safer than standard lithium ion. This one also has self heating and it starts at about 32 degrees Fahrenheit. It comes with a 120 amp smart BMS. Also, it comes with IP67 certifications. It is vibration proof. It is a zero maintenance battery as well. And they currently have it on special, just the battery alone for $7.99. I did get the charger as well. I believe this is a 10 amp charger. And yes, guys, let's go ahead and unbox it and see what this is really all about. I just want to test it out and just see what a 60 amp hours can do. I did test a 105 amp hour battery not too long ago, and it did last a long time. I also had a Navita system on it on the Yamaha G29, and it did great. This time, you're gonna leave it completely stock. So this is the charger right here. And as you can observe, it comes with uh, several plugs. You also have the lobster claws as well, okay? Uh, I think that it's gonna give us uh, several options to uh, charge. So we're gonna figure this one out later. This is the charger itself. I just wanna read the uh, specifications on it. So this one is a, let's go ahead and read here. It is a 10 amp right there it is guys 10 amp uh, 600 watt uh, is the maximum output on this uh, charger for lithium batteries made by the company enjoy bot as well so that's a uh, pretty pretty cool so it came uh, I think it was via FedEx uh, I can't recall I think it was FedEx but I don't know the box looks too good and in great condition I think it was actually UPS, but I just can't remember right now, guys. It's been sitting here for quite a while. And uh, yeah, right here we have the battery. This thing is uh, quite big, but it's not as big as the 105 amp hours that I had not too long ago. And here it is, guys. So this thing has a maximum charge capacity of 4,000 plus cycles, which is quite impressive. Uh, also, it supports a five kilowatt motor and controllers rated up to 500 amps. That's because this can throw up to 500 amps for about three to five seconds as well. So yes, it is waterproof. I think that um, I'm gonna show you now the golf cart that I got uh, for a very low price, guys. I think I paid like, I don't know, 500 bucks for it. Uh, before we get there, it came with these uh, terminal covers and some screws so that we can bolt them on. It has these covers right here. This is the positive, this is the negative, and it came with two handles as well. It weighs about 55 pounds, and in inches, it has a width of 19 inches, as you can tell, a height of about nine inches, and a depth of about a little over nine inches. So those are the measurements for this uh, particular battery. And again, let me show you here the golf cart before it starts raining. Well guys, here we have the golf cart. Right now we have it as it came in. I got it for exactly $565. I just checked my transaction and that's not a bad price considering that this thing is supposed to run after replacing the batteries. The guy had it inside of a garage, uh, just like mine, a one car garage. And these are currently the lead acid batteries that are in it. We're gonna strip all this out and uh, discard these batteries. We're gonna clean it, pressure clean it, and then uh, we're gonna see if it does work with the new battery. Unfortunately, the heating part of it, we live in Florida, so we're not gonna get very cold temperatures here, especially around this time of the year. But I've seen other reviews out there. They tested this element, this technology, and it does work. Uh, with this being said, let's go ahead and pop these things inside and see if at least we can get it running. And I'll keep you guys updated right after this. Well, I just added some plywood here to the foundation uh, for the battery. And on the opposite side as well, this side here we can use for storage, whatever the case may be. 
and uh, on this side is where I'm going to mount the battery. I do have a power converter coming shortly via Amazon that converts it from 12 volts uh, I'm sorry 48 volts to 12 volts. Well guys a couple of days have actually passed and I had to strip everything on this golf cart in terms of the lights they were not working and that's because well whenever they installed this it was quite some time ago and the whole system was just too messed up to keep fixing it and try to rewire and you know just put everything back together so I went ahead and purchased this kit from Amazon in which I'm going to leave down below in case you happen to have a G22 laying around and you want to make it a little bit better well this is the way to do it uh, I went full LED and not only is it LED but also now it comes with proper turn signals and it comes with a hazard light button and also it has a horn all right so it's really really cool the battery is fully installed on here guys and so far i put maybe like 12 miles in total into it and it's been holding great the max distance uh base or comparing it to my previous battery which was a 105 amp hours it was able to give me almost like 38 miles so i would be happy if i can get 25 miles 20 25 uh, with this particular setup right here but i don't have the best wiring management uh, but everything is working that's the good news and we have extra space on this side to put a cooler or whatever we want okay so we are all set here to uh, start testing this uh, golf cart and talking about the overall battery's performance so we know this is a 48 volts 65 amp hours and it is by no means a super long lasting battery like I had before, which was a 105 amp hours. We are talking about uh, 40 amp hours more. And that's, well, yes, 40% uh, more than what I had before. So with this one here, I'm getting about maximum 22 miles in total range. I already had to charge this uh, uh, golf cart. And, um, and now we're of course just riding around the neighborhood and yes guys it is a very good battery for what it is for the money it's only $7.99 and it does work it does what it you know what it was designed for uh, something I couldn't test was the um, self-heating feature that it has because here in Florida temperatures rarely drop below 40 I mean it usually happens around January but maybe for a day or so but I've seen other youtubers testing this particular feature and confirming that in fact it does work guys so this is something that we need to consider me personally I never had a battery with uh, self heating uh, technology like uh, like this one does guys now something super awesome about most lithium batteries is the fact that they weigh so much less i took at least 320 pounds away from this golf cart and just added about 55 pounds which is what this battery weights that's a huge difference guys and even when i had the Yamaha g29 and the 105 amp hours uh, lithium phosphate battery on it uh, that one was about 65 65 68 pounds approximately and again it made a big difference over the lead acid batteries that we had in it um, also keep in mind that this is a ip67 certified battery which means that it can sustain splashes of water and a little bit more than that so we know that where the battery is located that area gets wet uh, especially if you hit a puddle or something it can get wet even though I still you know don't recommend it but if it does happen you know that you will be protected at least battery wise uh, another thing is that this is a maintenance free battery as well and it does have if I read correctly uh, about 4,000 cycles of charging which is amazing and it comes with a 10-year warranty guys just imagine that before this battery goes bad, I'm not gonna even have this cart. It's probably just gonna go to another cart and another cart and another cart. This is a 2003 Yamaha G22, and I highly doubt that I'm gonna be keeping this cart for that long. So, 
what do I think about this battery? It is fantastic. If you're not looking for a long range battery, you see with the 105 amp hours battery that I had before in the Navita system, I was getting roughly about 35 miles in range, but yes, I had the Navita system, which is a lot more powerful and it sucks a lot more battery as well. With this one, again, I got an equivalent based on all the rounds that I gave my neighborhood and the distance and everything. I did my math and I got equivalent to about 22 miles. And that's decent for 65 amp hours, considering this is a 48 volts and we are using it on a golf cart. Uh, this battery can also be used for solar purposes. It could be used for RVs and many other applications that uh, you know that are quite useful as well and maybe the battery might give you more uh, use depending on what you use it with in this case we're using it with a golf cart we know golf carts do uh, absorb a lot of power it is common they are pulling people and for such they suck a lot of power and this one guys i have no complaints at all the original price on this was uh, about over a thousand dollars and right now they have reduced it to $7.99 on their website now here's the thing guys I'm not sure how long that's gonna last for I have no clue whatsoever but these deals typically don't last for too long it could be that maybe they're about to release a different unit and they're trying to get rid of the inventory it could mean many things well, the price is darn good for what you are getting here i was thinking about maybe upgrading the controller on this cart and making it go maybe 20 20 25 miles an hour to me that's quite decent and i don't think you, you you're going to be killing the motor but right now we're only doing 13 miles an hour and yeah i mean it, it is moving but it's not what i wanted i mean i got used to that navita system this company Joybot, they have different configurations. They have a battery that also has 105 amp hours. And I, I, I really hope they can send it to me. Like I said, guys, I'm quite impressed. Super reliable so far, no issues whatsoever. And again, I don't think I'm gonna be waiting 10 years uh, to let you guys know how well the battery did, but I'm taking their word for it. I seen the internals before and they look quite promising with quality components as well. So let's go ahead and wrap it up right here, guys. I think that we have covered enough about this golf cart and the new battery. Let me show you here what it looks like. Like I said before, I don't have the best wiring management. But it looks pretty clean and now we even have space on the other side to add like a cooler or something everything looks super clean uh, also keep in mind that we added new lights into this uh, golf cart and keep in mind that some of those rides were at nighttime where i had to have the headlights turned on and all that consumes more energy guys so again overall i'm quite impressed with the enjoybot 48 volt 65 amp hour battery if you guys have any questions just leave your comments below don't forget to hit the like button subscribe comment and share and i'll see you guys on my next one